Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell and welcome to Look Back, where I take a look at reviews that I did 1, 5, 10, and 20 years ago, and I tell you what I think about them now, if I think about them at all. So let's jump back to 20 years ago. I reviewed Ozu Le Mio, which was a game that I wanted to love so much because it's about a zoo, and it's about auctioning for animals. It's, it's fine. It's almost what I want it to be, 6.5, but there's many cooler zoo games out these days. Roller Coaster Tycoon, the board game. This is another 6.5 for me. Again, almost there. I love Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's one of my favorite video games. I love the idea of running a theme park and everything. Um, and this almost does that. It builds things. You, it, I mean, it's a mass market game. You roll and move people around and land on the rides. It's almost there. And it's, it's not terrible. Guillotine, <laughs> another one. 6.5, almost there. And this is one I had fun with. I mean, it's as much fun as you can have with any game where you're chopping people's heads off and you're just rearranging a line of cards and trying to get the ones with the most points to the front when it's your turn. 25 words or less. This is a game, a party game, in which you are uh, trying to get people to guess a list of words in 25 words or less. You auction back and forth. The game has a fundamental flaw in that someone who's too eager can basically be the only person who plays, but as long as you can avoid that type of person, I think it's fine, seven out of 10. Liberté, this is a Martin Wallace game about the French Revolution with alternate victory conditions. This was, for a time, 20 years ago, in my top 10 games of all time. It has now dropped a bit, it is a seven. I still think there's a lot of cool things in the game, but I think game design has progressed past this point, but I still like the concept of this game as you're trying to figure out it's like area control within area control, but don't let one side get too much power or else the whole game will end and that person's going to do pretty well. So that's Liberté, 7 out of 10. Uh, 10 years ago, I reviewed Lewis and Clark, The Expedition. Uh, a lot of people like this game. This is one where maybe I'm the outlier, but I don't enjoy it. 5 out of 10. I just find it to be, there's some interesting ideas, great artwork, but a slow, sloggy race. Dungeon Pets. Now, this game is one of the biggest mismatches in complexity and theme that I know of because this game is very complex. A sequel to Dungeon Lords about feeding and upkeeping monster pets. So much going on in this game. It's a good game, but it is a high level. If you asked me to teach this to you right now, I'd go, oh. So, 7 out of 10. Cube Quest. This is a game where you're flicking cubes at each other uh, and you're using cubes to build fortresses or special abilities for the cubes. Me and my son just played this a few weeks ago and still enjoy it, 7.5. Laser Chess. This is the remaking of a game that we're doing. It was called Ket, K-H-E-T. Um, but this game in which it's an abstract game and then you move a piece and then you press a button and the lasers will bounce off mirrors and you're just trying to hit pieces and blow them up until you get your opponent's king. Really cool, fun idea, 8 out of 10. Five years ago, I reviewed the Towers of Arcanos. This is a game in which you're just stacking dice in different ways and put towers on top of them. Some neat ideas and the idea of using maybe meeples and dice to stack things was pretty cool. 7 out of 10. Last year I reviewed The Yawning Portal, a Dungeons and Dragon game about eating food and serving food. It's really not that good. 5 out of 10. Nice, great, amazing pieces though. Linkto Food. This is a game in which you are trying to answer trivia questions and eliminate cards so you figure out which card is the one that there's no clue for. I like the concept a lot. Not a lot of replayability to it. It's interesting to go through 6.5. Super Mario Labyrinth. This is just Labyrinth with the Super Mario theme. But you know what? Until this point, I've never played Labyrinth. Me and my son enjoyed it. Fun back and forth game, 7 out of 10. Hollow Type. This is a worker placement game about Finding Fossils for Dinosaurs. Some cool stuff. Another 7 out of 10. And then Hookie. This is a deduction style game. It, I, I really wish they'd pick different art. People are not playing this game based on how it looks. Looks like a kid's game or something like that. It's a very strategic, very thinky deduction word style game that I really enjoy. Highly recommend it. 8.5. And those are the reviews that I did 1, 5, 10, and 20 years ago. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time.